Grapple gang, what is up? I'm Cartoon Cory, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some fresh, spicy mistakes in SpongeBob. All of these are new. Let's get right into the video. Let's go, roll that intro. First up is the episode Funny Pants, and boy, oh boy, does this episode have a lot of mistakes. Like, there's like 10 plus, but for now, we're gonna focus on a couple. Here are some clips. You're burning up, SpongeBob. I am. The temperature is 175 degrees. Is that bad? SpongeBob, you've got to be careful. You're going to burn out your laugh box. My laugh box? If you burn out your laugh box, you'll live your whole life without ever laughing again. Hey, Patrick, you want to hear a joke? Sure, Sandy. I'd love a good laugh. What has four wheels and flies? A garbage truck. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch it? That first mistake takes place during this scene, during SpongeBob's daydream. When Sandy tells SpongeBob if he wants to hear a joke, as you can see, her tail is there. She's got her tail, her fluffy little squirrel tail. But when SpongeBob says, sure, I'd love a good laugh, and it cuts right back to them, um, where is Sandy's tail? Where'd her tail go? Squirrels don't just randomly lose their tail, guys. I think the animators forgot to draw her tail during this scene. And guys, this happens a lot throughout this episode. For example, this scene right here. Roll the footage. Maybe I should ask Sandy. Now, what is laughter? The thing that used to give my life meaning and purpose. But scientifically speaking, it's caused by your epiglottis constricting your larynx, causing irregular air intake and respiratory upset. Sounds painful. Here's some humor theory textbooks, uh, laugh mechanics, and the quantum giggle theory. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, like I said, it happens a lot. During this scene where Sandy pulls down this chart of the body, um, where's her tail again? It's gone. I mean, it's only gone for a split second, but it's still gone. That girl's missing her tail. That's not the only thing she's missing in this episode, guys. As take a look at this scene at the ending of the episode, it's not her tail that's missing this time. It's something else. Can you guys catch it? Leave a comment before I actually show you the mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it on your own. But yeah, roll the footage. Spot Bob, there's no such thing as a laugh. Box. I made the whole thing up. <laughs> you really fell for it. What a shamil. <laughs> Look, he's waking up. Um. Where am I? You're in the hospital, silly. You broke your laugh box. So they cut it out. Cut it out? Yeah. Want to see it? It's fun to shake it up and watch it bounce around. Ah! Again, it happens near the ending of the episode. But when SpongeBob wakes up from his coma, um, Sandy's zipper and badge are just missing from her suit. They're just gone. Here's a shot of how it normally looks. As you can see, she has all the designs on her drippy suit. But in this one shot, they're just not there. Again, the animators just didn't draw them. So yeah, yeah, they're really doing Sandy dirty in this episode, guys. She's missing her tail twice, and they even messed up on her iconic suit. I feel bad for Sandy, but anyways, let's keep the episode going, guys. We've got tons of episodes in this video, tons of mistakes, so yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to make this one very, very quick. Roll the footage. Here's the mistake in the episode, selling out. Do you know what's in that Krabby Patty you're eating? No. <laughs> See that? Without all your smoke and mirrors, no one would stomach this garbage. What do you say? Garbage? Okay, so this character right here is Incidental 42. And in every episode before this one, this character always has a male voice, okay? A male voice. Here's some examples. Thanks for the roses, SpongeBob. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, free Krabby Patties. This is a load of barnacles. I heard that! As you heard, this dude, it sounds like a dude, right? But in the episode Selling Out, Incidental 42 has a female voice when he says, what did he say? Garbage? What do you say? Garbage? Really strange mistake, but let's keep it rolling, baby. Let's keep this show going. One really good episode from season 13 is Goofy Scoopers. I mean, anything Goofy Goobers related, I love. But like any episode, this episode has a mistake. Here's the mistake. Let's see if you can catch it. I did like being a bridge, but I was built to make music. Now let's yeah. rock! This 
one's just really funny, but at the ending of the episode, during this close-up of Clem Clam playing the trumpet, that man is playing the heck out of that trumpet, take a look at his shirt, as the stripes on his shirt switch colors at the end. First it looks like this, but then they just switch colors, which is really strange. But let's keep it moving, gang. We've got more mistakes than this, and they're spicy. Our next mistake can be found in the episode Shell of a Man from season four. You know, season four is pretty hit or miss for me, because that's when Steven Hillenburg kind of left the show, but I don't hate this episode, it's good. What I don't like about this episode, though, as you guys can guess, is the mistake. There's one that's really bad, and it's kind of hard to catch. Let's see if you guys can catch it. What's in this thing? Treasure? A treasure trove of sorts. <laughs> Why'd you dig up your Navy chest, sir? Well, my Navy buddies and I are having a reunion. This is me manly toughness trophy. Who are those guys? Me shipmates. The toughest bunch to ever sail the briny deep. Did you have a cool nickname, Mr. Krabs? Of course. I was old Armor Abs Krabs. You were? So watch closely, guys. This one, like I said, can be kind of complicated. So when Mr. Krabs shows SpongeBob all of his old Navy treasures, take a look at the left flag in his office with the white and blue triangles, okay? If you watch slowly throughout this scene, this flag and the triangles keep rotating. First it looks like this, then it looks like this, then it looks like this. Very easy to miss because it's in the background of the scene, and I mean like, who cares? I care though, because this is a mistake, and it's a pretty bad one once you catch it. But anyways, let's keep it moving and head over to another episode. Okay, so our next mistake can be found in another season 13 episode, Squidward's Sick Days. And this one is really funny because when you really think about it, it's actually like a hilarious mistake. Here are the clips, roll the footage. Oh, I can't believe I'm dreaming about work when there's so many more interesting things I could be doing. My unfinished painting, my unfinished symphony, and my uneaten strudel. <laughs> My strudel! So this delicious looking strudel right here, guys. I want a bite of this. Do you want a bite of it? Leave a comment. Would you eat this strudel? I want some of it. But yeah, the strudel, okay? As you can see, there is steam coming off of it, so it's hot, right? Like, they're really animating this strudel as if it's hot. It's steaming hot. But here's the problem. Squidward had just woken up, right? Like, he just woke up during the scene, and we know that he made the strudel the day before, yesterday, right? He made it and then put it out by the window so it would cool the previous day. So how is it hot still? He made the strudel yesterday and he just woke up. The dude didn't just wake up and the strudel was still hot. So this is just a really silly mistake. I hope you guys get what I'm saying for it because this is a bad one. But anyways, during that same scene, there's actually another mistake. I'm going to roll the clip again really quickly. Did you spot it? Oh, I can't believe I'm dreaming about work when there's so many more interesting things I could be doing. My unfortunate finished painting, my unfinished symphony, and my uneaten strudel. <laughs> My strudel! Yeah, so when Patrick bites into that delicious strudel that is somehow still hot, even though it's a day old, um, Patrick's eyebrows disappear for a split second. It literally only happens for a second as he's eating the pastry, but yeah, talk about two mistakes in one scene, guys. And I have one more mistake from this episode. One more. Oh, yes, I like that. Uh-huh. <gasps> Squidward, you're overexciting yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. In my imagination, you're a helpless little baby. Gee, you're sicker than I thought. So take a look at this painting right here, okay? As you can see in the painting, SpongeBob is holding a baby Squidward. Aw, oh, Squidward, you're such a cute baby. Now, as you can see, SpongeBob's arm on the left from our viewing perspective is yellow right here. But take a look at his other arm in the picture as it's green. The animator's messed up. His arm's supposed to be yellow, but his arm's the same color as Squidward. Dude, what? This is a really bad one, guys. Look at how awkward that looks, but let's keep it moving and head over to another episode. I love this next episode, Enemy in Law, just because the plot is so funny. Plankton falls in love with Betsy Krabs, Mr. Krabs' mom. Imagine having like a mortal enemy and falling in love with their mama. Their mama. Plankton, you're crazy. Anyways, though, here are some clips summarizing this episode. It's really funny. Everything I do is always wrong in your eyes. Maybe it's because you are always wrong. Why did I ever install that nagging software? Nagging software, I heard that. Why did I ever buy that computer wife? Mm -hmm. 
such beauty. I've never felt like this before. Your gentleman caller awaits. Hello, my dear. I'd like to hear about you. Well... Like the crabs! Eugene! Mommy? Mommy? SpongeBob! Mrs. Krabs in full view of this restaurant. Would you marry me? <gasps> this episode is full of mistakes. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna play some clips and the mistake's gonna be in there. Hopefully you guys can spot it. <clears throat> Five reservations for two tonight. Right this way, sir. You put me boyfriend down this instant. Boyfriend? But mommy. You heard the lady. Let me go. I'm sorry me son had to spoil our romantic evening. You. Eugene. I came to warn you, Plankton. Stay away from me, mother. I know what you're really up to. Now stop trying to get the formula out of me, mother. What are you talking about? So there's actually two mistakes going on here, and it has to do with the interior of the Krusty Krab. So first things first, take a look at this scene where Mr. Krabs barges into the chum bucket in anger, as some scenes show these red pipes on the wall, but then some scenes where we get the same shots are missing the red pipes. So in some shots, there's red pipes. Some shots, there aren't. I don't know what the plumbing situation is in the Krusty Krab, but they need to get that sorted. And that's not it. As when Plankton walks into the Krusty Krab with a rose during this scene, as you can see right here, there is a burger sticker on the window. Now I'm hungry. I really want to go and get myself a McDouble. But the problem is, once Plankton's actually inside the store, there is now no stickers at all. This then happens again when Mr. Krabs walks in. You can see the sticker, the burger sticker, but then from the inside, it's gone. So some continuity errors going on with this scene. And guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I love ya. And if you're new, seriously, if you're new to the channel right now and you want to talk to me, subscribe as I respond to the comments of all subscribers. So right now, if you leave a comment and then you subscribe in YouTube studio, it'll show me you're subscribed and I'll respond for sure. I love talking with you guys. So leave your comments, subscribe, and a massive shout out to the Grapple Gang. Let's go. Any of you who did just subscribe, you're now a part of the Grapple Gang. We're one of the best SpongeBob and cartoon communities on YouTube. And shout out to the Premiere Gang. Anybody here at the live premiere? What's up, gang, 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 gang? I love you guys. Also, last thing, guys, I'm gonna be streaming soon. I know I've been saying this for a while, but I'm gonna be streaming at least three or four times a week, playing games like Roblox, SpongeBob games, Mario Kart, Splatoon, games like that. So if you have a Nintendo Switch, you'll definitely be able to play. So hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when your boy goes live. Anyways, though, I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow with more content. See you then. Peace.